Hello guys, what's up? My name is 100 Black and White, and welcome to another Pokemon Showdown video. Now remember, guys, if you would like to challenge me, my Showdown name will be in the top right of the screen, which I will put in right now. There you go. My Showdown name will be in the top right of the screen, so you can challenge me from anything from Ubers to PU, and I have teams for all of them. And yeah, so without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I went through um two I went through two teams each of Ubers and Ubers to PU as you guys can watch on my channel. So I decided to kind of like do mix things up. So I have three teams here, but we're gonna start with Ubers. We're gonna start from the top of the list this time with Ubers. And what I did was I took the Pokemons that were on in the beginning the first pokemon of the the tier listing and the last pokemon in the tier listing and then i made a team based around that so with ubers the first pokemon you have is aegislash and the and the last pokemon you have in the small gun tiering of ubers is zekrom so i tried to make a team around aegislash and zekrom so here's the team so we have a weakness policy aegislash especially defensive king shield reflect flash cannon toxic it's kind of like a um, it's kind of like a support. Like uh, I'm trying to think of the word used in Pokemon. So it's kind of like a wall, and I have Flash Cannon just so I don't get taunted. And Reflect because there's a lot of physical attackers in this tier, and then King Shield to put me back in the shield form and Toxic just to get residual damage off just in case. Then we have Zekrom. I put the Choice Band on it. I usually don't like to put Choice Band. Or any choice items in particular on item uh on Pokemon. But with Zekrom, he doesn't do like the most amount of damage. Like sure, this is 438. But that's still that's still not enough in Ubers. There's a lot of tanky Pokemon. There's a lot of um There's a lot of there's a lot of defensive Pokemon in this tier, so that's why I have Choice Band, just so it has that extra power. So he has Zekrom has Fusion Mode, Outrage, Crunch, and Rock Slide. Also, I don't like to put Outrage on it, but since like, no, I'm going to switch this Dragon Claw. I'm going to put Dragon Claw on it, but I don't like Outrage on Dragon types because I can't switch out. So I'm just going to change Dragon Claw there. Then we have Greninja here. Oh, I forgot their nickname. So I'm I'm going to nickname all my team now. So this is Emblem, the Aegis Slash. This is Big Daddy, the Zekrom, because the giant drill on his butt kind of reminds me of Big Daddy from um, gosh, Bioshock. And like how he drills you and how he's a big daddy and he drills okay no 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 that's not for me okay so here we have kage the green ninja because um naruto naruto and how like i i think the green ninja could be a kage you know he it might not be like the music kage but like some sort of kage but anyway we have kage here the green ninja with life form protein ice beam skull dark pulse and quick attack just because i like quick attack over shadow sneak because of um Kangaskhan and Aegis Slash's King Shield and uh those are the only normal types. Yeah, so only those Pokemon. That's why I have Shadow Sneak over Quick Attack, so I don't get the the physical attack drop or I don't like get damage off on Kangaskhan. Even though like yes yeah, this is a special attacker, like I still don't want that anyways. Then we have BLF best legendary friend, a reference to the Pokemon, I believe, advanced challenged episode. I could be wrong, but I believe it was the advanced challenge episode where Pikachu absorbs the red orb. Or was it is in that game? No, in the show, it was the blue orb, I think, controlled Groudon. So Pikachu absorbs the blue orb, and then he, like, and Groudon, like, one and the same. Like, Pikachu is like, Groudon's like controlling Pikachu or something like that. But that's why I that's why Groudon's called BLF. With um Stealth Box, Earthquake, Fire Punch, Rock Slide. This is a um physically defensive Groudon. And then we have Science, the music, because I science beats everything. I don't I don't care what you say. Science beats everything. Beats everything. In Pokemon, that is. Science beats anything in Pokemon. Not in life. In Pokemon. Science beats everything. So this is a Mewtwo Y, a Mega Mewtwo Y. Uh, modest 
You can see the EVs right there with Aura Sphere, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Flamethrower. I put Flamethrower on there just for Genesex and Aegis Slashes and um, I guess neutral to cure him, white, and yeah, okay. And finally, we have Dialga here. I kind of want to mix it up. I usually make Dialga my walls. Like, I usually like to have three walls and three offensive Pokemon, but I wanted to kind of mix it up. So I have Dialga here, Diamond, the Dialga, because I feel like Dialga is going to be, uh, what's the word? I feel like Dialga is going to clutch the team for us. So here we have Dialga with extra bird, ah, with extra belt, with Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. I put Thunderbolt on there because we don't really have anything for Primal Kyogre, and also Ice Beam just for any Dragon types. Okay, so let's get into our battles right now. Yep, that's the team I want to go with. And let's find ourselves a battle. Okay, here we go. So we have a probably Mega Lucario. Ferrothorn, a Togekiss, um, a Rotom, a Digger's B, and a Hydreigon. Okay. So thinking that he's gonna start off with the Ferrothorn, I'm gonna start off with my Mewtwo, get the Mega Evolve off. Yeah, there's a Ferrothorn. So I'm gonna Mega Evolve right now and go for the Flamethrower straight off the bat. He has two Pokemon weak, two Flamethrower. Wow, that Mega Evolution animation is awesome. Sash. Interesting. I don't know why you would have a slash Sash Ferrothorn, but okay. But luckily, we did manage to take it down. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't want speed. Oh, I do want speed. Huh. Do I want to go for Nora Sphere? I think your choice. You wouldn't have bring the same as your choice. So. Predicting a dark pose. I'm gonna switch it to my. I'm gonna switch it to Kage right here. Yep, there's a dark pose. Wow, these animations are so awesome. I haven't been like shown in such a long time. Gosh, these animations are so. There's the ice beam. Oh my gosh, even on the protein type up here. Wow, nice. So, gonna take out the Hydreigon. Um, since I'm timid, I outsped the Hydreigon. Here's Lucario now. I'm pretty sure he's still out speed. Bullet Punch will kill me right now. So let's go out into our primal ground on. Gonna take some rocks damage, but holy shoot, these animate! Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Okay, so there's a flash cannon from Lucario, from Mega Lucario with the adaptability. Um, I'm pretty sure I can live on Aura Sphere, so I'm just gonna go for a fire punch. It's super effective stab, and it's yeah, super effective stab, and it has a chance to burn. Look at all the damage, and I get to burn. Nice, I hate Diggersby now. If you guys saw the episode with Diggersby in it, oh my gosh. Dig Diggersby, man. Diggersby is a threat. Diggersby is such a threat. So now I can safely set up my cell phone. I'll speed? What? Wait, I'll... Wait, what? Wait, wait, sorry, I'm just... What? Why was that Diggers B not max speed? Okay. Wow, still no Ubers teams in Ubers. I mean, like, any team is technically an Ubers team. But, like, still, like, no Ubers Pokemon. So we have a Mega Beedrill, a Heliolisk, a Garchomp, a Chandelier, a Rosarita, and a Gyarados. And yes, Garchomp and Gyarados could be Megas too, but I, I honestly don't think why you would bring a Beedrill to a battle unless it was Mega. So again, with this team... Ah, uh, no, I had to set up with Groudon this time. There's Tony Chomper, the Mega Garchomp. Okay, so an Earthquake shouldn't take me out since I'm Impish and Max Defense, so I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Um, there's an Earthquake, yeah, so it won't take me out. I do get my Rocks up now, and he has no Defogger or Rapid Spin on his team. So Beedrill takes 25, Gyarados takes 25, Chandelure takes 25. That's good. Um, I realized I have a giant earthquake weakness. I didn't want to put any flying type Pokemon on this team because of the major ice weakness I would have with Zekrom and a flying type. But now that I see this, I have a major earthquake weakness. I guess I have to just sack this thing off and go for an earthquake. Yeah, so I have to sack my Groudon off. It sucks, but now. I don't know if you're scarfed or not. 
and going to do anything else wouldn't okay so let's see I need science takes care of one two three Pokemon one two three Pokemon here oh not the channel I don't have shadow ball so two Pokemon I oh, know three healers is part normal type solution science takes care of three uh I guess we could I guess we could check with with Greninja if it outspeeds it's scarfed. If he switches out that means it's not scarfed because I outspeeds and I'm timid. Okay, so Garchomp isn't scarfed, goes on the channel or takes that rock damage. Gonna get some damage off with um Ice Beam Lamorte the Chandelure. Okay, so now I can go for the Dark Pulse because everything your scarfed? Whoa. Whoa, that's Scarf Chandelure, right? Alright, so we're gonna go out into Big Daddy here. And since I know that this thing is Scarf now, I can go for Dragon Claw. Still gonna stay in. Okay, so I'm gonna take on the Chandelure with Dragon Claw. Maybe he wanted to burn me. Maybe he wanted to burn Zekrom. But, I mean Big Daddy, because, you know, he's just going to penetrate everyone and take down the defenses. Okay, I think, yeah, you, you really scare me. I got to sacrifice this thing, because I think I need to bring in Aegislash to get a King Shield off on this thing. So I probably have to sacrifice. Yeah, there it goes, it's an EQ. Well, now I know that this thing isn't Scarf, I can go out to Science right here, and I can Mega Evolve and go for an Ice Beam. Um, he could switch into Gyarados, but I'm pretty sure it's not Mega. Go down into Roserade, what? Don't I get a Speed Boost? Yeah, I get a Speed Boost. So now I'm definitely faster than the Garchomp. We know that Chandelure was Scarf. Here's Beedrill, but... Beedrill shouldn't outspeed me. I'm a Mega Mewtwo Y. Pretty sure it shouldn't outspeed me. 427. Really? Really? Mega Beedrill outspeed? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Okay, so I'm gonna go out into Asia Slash. There's the U turn. Can I probably go out into Guard Trap now? I need. <sighs> will I. Will, will you live? Okay, I believe in Emblem to live in Earthquakes, and hopefully I will get this reflect up. Nope, I was totally wrong. Okay. So we're gonna go on to Science. And now I'm just gonna go... At the amount of health that Beedrill is at, I think an Ice Beam could still kill it. Will the Psychic kill? I think a Psychic would kill. Goes on Gyarados, I also thought of that too, so I'm gonna go for Psychic right now. You shouldn't have to beat me either, so I'm gonna go for Psychic again. This is probably the switch into the Beedrill. What? He has a Scarved Gyarados? What? What? Here comes in Beedrill. What? I'm gonna switch on to Diablo. What? He had two Scarf Mons? What? Okay, Diamond coming out. There's the knock. I'm gonna get rid of my Extra Belt, which is unfortunate. But a Dragon Pole should be able to take it out. So that modest max special attack. If you want to switch it to um, Garchomp, it'll probably kill. The Dragon Pulse will kill Garchomp. Goes up to Heliolus. Hopefully this does a lot. Yeah, that does a lot. Okay. You do you seriously Okay, no, you don't know how to be here. Okay, so what would you do right now? I'm just gonna dragon pose. I resist that. Be does Bio knock it out at this range? Goes on to the Garchomp. Oh Garchomp out speed, I get it. So Garchomp will XP, take out my Dialga, does, the crit doesn't matter, and even though I outspeed, even though I speed it, actually, 
No, no, no. Now Bijo comes in, takes 25% and killed me with a U turn. Why is. Why is Mega. Why is a Mega B drill faster than a legendary? GG. What? Like, why? Like. Like, here we have a legendary Pokemon who also can has, has the ability to Fang Evolve. And here's a B drill. One of the most. One of the most, um. Irrelevant Pokemon until Gen 6 when he got a Mega Evolve, Mega Evolution, and now it outspeeds a Mega Mewtwo, and he just left. Okay. Okay. Like, seriously? Like, like why? I don't understand. Okay, so we have a Mega Charizard something, a Heracross, a Tyranitar, an Alakazam, an Ampharos, and a Meowstic Male. So with this team... I think he, I think he's gonna start off with Tyrant. What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this looks like a real Uber scene. So we have Mega Kangaskhan, Shaman Sky, Greninja, Darkrai, Greninja, and an Arceus normal form. Okay, so thinking that he's gonna start off with Greninja. I'm gonna go out. Into Zekrom first. Ooh, goes on into Natalie, the Kangaskhan. That that's really, oh wait no I don't name my Kangaskhan Natalie. I name my um I name my Dragon Knights Natalia because because um I thought it was a girl at first and yeah I thought it was a girl at first and so I named it Natalia, but then like. For some reason, now I name all my Dragon Knights in the audio. But anyways, so, like, when I saw Natalie. Yeah, so anyway, fake out, gonna do some damage. Earthquake not gonna take me out. Even with the second hit. So I can take out this Kangaskhan to 90%. That's totally fine. So, again, major Earthquake weakness. Might as well just sack off Zekrom right here. Okay, gonna get a power up punch. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I think I should kill at this range. Yeah, and Life Orb and it's Stab. Yeah, they should kill. Yep, there you go. So Mega Kangaskhan down. So that's one big threat out of the way. Um, my Greninja will outspeed the Shaman Sky. No, it'll be a speed type between the two Greninjas if it's timid. I don't think it outspeeds Arceus or this thing. Yeah, it doesn't outspeed this thing. Um, possibly going for a Dark Void. I'm probably gonna go for Aura Spheres in a normal type. Uh, Mega Mewtwo, why does it not speed to the modest? Uh, uh, I need this Greninja, I know that. Okay, so I'm gonna go into. Gonna go to Aegislash. Hopefully, does it Dark Pulse? Okay, just go for the Dark Void, I'm okay with that. So now I think he's just gonna dark pose this. So I have to just sacrifice my Aegis Slash at this point. Yeah, that does so much. If I wasn't asleep, that would be really good. But maybe I should have maybe I should have done that. I maybe I should have sacrificed for Ninja so Aegis Slash would get the weakness policy. But I'm just gonna go down to a dark pose right here. It sucks. Nothing on my team outspeeds this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, getting go to the ground on. Gosh, nothing got speed on my team that speeds this dark ride. Could I put anything on this team that outspeeds it? Well, I mean like obviously I could have, but like I usually like to stick with Pokemon in the tier. So I guess like Deoxic Speed. Rayquaza, but then I have two ice weaknesses which I didn't want. Huh. No, Deoxys doesn't outspeed this thing still. Oh, by the way, CC Ceci, the Dark Ray. I don't truly understand the name, but it must be awesome. Um. So yeah, this Dark Ray can basically sweep me. Because if it has Aura Sphere, it'll be able to have to get Greninja because it outspeed, and I'm super effective to fighting type. Whether I use Ice Beam or Quick Attack or just 
if I don't use any move at all. And since it out speeds and yeah, I can't do anything to this thing. I this thing literally sweeps my team. Holy shoot! Yeah, I just it just done a dark void. It's gonna put me asleep. And if I wait here, let's see if I can over here. Yeah, that's focus class. Uh whoa! I got the first turn wake. Whoa, that's awesome. That's awesome, Diamond. You did you did good work against this thing. I'm pretty sure quick attack still won't take this out. But let's see. Let's see if quick attack takes it out. No, nope. almost, almost. Maybe if I put the four in physical attack, it would have taken it out. But who knows? Who knows? Okay, so the focus blast miss. I'm gonna take more bad dream damage. Gonna go for another quick attack. Nope. Hits the focus blast this time. And now I'm going into my Mega Mewtwo. I'm going to Science. Mega Evolve. Go for the Aura Sphere just in case it does not speed. But it does. Gets the Dark Void off. But I, I'm so stupid. I am. I totally forgot Mega Mewtwo Y is Insomnia. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Ashley the Greninja, okay. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, we made a perfect Pokemon to counter Darkrai because we knew how fast and how powerful Darkrai is and how annoying he is. We made a Mega Mewtwo Y to counter Darkrai. But you know what? The main star of your team is the one thing that you didn't want to put on your teeth the one thing that you didn't want to go against the dark ride oh my god i'm so stupid i'm so stupid i'm so stupid and that does not be holy shoot oh no you're electric oh you're your rcc electric okay but oh my gosh okay oh I'm just gonna hit it off there. Ah, oh, the perfect dark encounter. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Remember, if you like to challenge me to a Pokemon showdown battle, my showdown name is in the top right corner of your screen. And then you can challenge me from anywhere from Ubers to PU. And then whenever I'm on showdown, then we can battle together. Then I can record it like this or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know if you. I don't, I don't know if you wanted me to record you. But anyways, um, with that being said, guys. Oh my gosh, you can't stop laughing. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, goodbye.